Welcome into the Garn Report. We got Noah Vonley here, signing with the Boston Celtics uh, this training camp, and been a strong showing for you so far. 10 to 12, uh, 25 rebounds out here. What was kind of the process that brought you back to Boston, your, your native state there? Uh, shoot, um, last year I played in China. Didn't really have too many NBA offers on the table. So I took the overseas route and um, came back. Had a pretty good showing over there. Came back this summer, worked out with the Mavericks um, in June. Had another good showing there. Uh, my agent was just doing his work and um, finding out which, which teams might have something available. And the Celtics had a couple of open roster spots after a trade and they told me I would have a chance to come in and train the camp and compete. And I was very excited uh, just to get my foot back in there and have an opportunity to, to find, find my way back in the league. So you came up in Haverhill, Haverhill High, before uh, going to prep. What was kind of like the ba Boston basketball scene, Massachusetts basketball scene like when you were coming up and how did that kind of shape your game? Uh, the Mass Massachusetts basketball scene, uh, it was pretty good around my time. Um, played in the Merrimack, uh, Merrimack Valley, played against um, Lawrence, Andover, Central Catholic, um, schools like that. Um, it was pretty solid. Um, played on the AAU circuit with the Mass Rivals, um, played against BABC and some other premier teams around the area. Um, a lot of great talent, guys like Maryland Noel, Wayne Seldon, George Niang, um, Shabazz Napier, Michael carter -Willard. We have a lot of guys from the Mass area. Um, and my prep school experience um, going into New Hampton was pretty good also. Most of those guys from Mass went to prep school in New Hampshire. We had guys at Tilton. Um, I was at New Hampton, guys at Brewster. So um, basketball, there's a lot of talent. There was a lot of talent um, at that time in Massachusetts. What are some of your favorite memories of that time in your life? And have you been able to kind of reconnect with old coaches, old teammates since you've been back here in Boston? Um, I still keep in contact with um, a few of the guys from the Mass Rivals, um, some of the coaches, some of the players. Um, my prep school coach from New Hampton, he's no longer there. He's in Ohio now. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I still keep tabs on guys. Some guys are still playing professionally. Um, so it's just good to, to have a lot of Mass talent still playing. So you come into the league with Charlotte, uh, you know, number nine overall pick. Um, what, what was kind of your game back then, and how does it kind of compare to where you're at now? The league has obviously come a long way in terms of the style you need to play to you know, compete at that four and five spot. I mean, ever since I can remember, my game's always been a pretty versatile game, being able to um, handle the ball, shoot the ball, do, di do different things, defend different positions. I always just try to, because the game's always going to keep evolving, so I just try to keep working on a little bit of everything each summer, and then um, really been focusing on shooting the past past couple of years. Um, shot really, the ball really well in China. Um, may get some opportunities here and there to shoot some corner threes, shoot from different areas, so we'll see how the season plays out. Mm -hmm. And what was kind of the biggest thing you took away from that early portion of your career, where you're bouncing around to some different teams? like? What was kind of the biggest lesson you learned during that time in your career where, you know, you're, you don't really have that stability in your career it's outside biggest, of Portland? The biggest lesson, um, it's a business. I mean, um, you just got to be professional, come in every day, do your job, which I feel like I've always done and I'm going to continue to do. But, I mean, you can you can be moved around. Um, one team might not like you, but another team might find something that, that you do that they might like and bring you in. So just got to stay ready at all times and be a pro. And so Portland, you kind of spoke about that the other day, how like that experience of freeing up Dame, CJ, kind of set you up for this opportunity where you're going to be playing along Brown and Tatum. Just what's the key to, in your position, freeing up guys like that? I mean, I'm a big, strong guy, um, big body, physical. Um, so just really just being, being a physical player. I mean, because once, you, once you're physical, you can really create a lot of advantages within a game. Be able to get um, get on the boards, um, using my using my body, um, using my body and set screens because a lot of guys don't want to get hit by a guy like that has my presence or, or body shape. So it's got to be real physical. Uh, screening guys on the lower half, letting Jalen and, and Jason get downhill. Malcolm, whoever the guards are, just freeing them up because th once I free them up, they get a shot. Then I'm battling with my guy to get an offensive rebound. So you mentioned Shanghai, you're there last season. COVID and all that's going on, so I'm sure it wasn't the normal experience you would expect to be going out there, but what was that experience like and what did you get out of that on the court and off the court? 
um, I'm, I was grateful for that experience, just being able to go over there, being a, be around a different culture, see how, how they play basketball and how they teach the game out there. Um, it was good. I mean, I was put in different positions. We really had the ball in my hands a lot, just playing free, being comfortable, and shooting the ball a lot. We shot 40% um, from three in the regular season, 41 in the playoffs. So, I mean, it was just great to get game reps out there because um, the past couple of years of my career in the league, I was, wasn't really playing too much. Um, teams kind of had their rotation set, got traded. So it was just it was just a tough situation. But you see how this situation here in Boston plays out. So, you you know, I'd call you a five on this roster based off what you played so far. You've played a little four in your career, too. Just in terms of how you fit in on this roster, like what do you see your role as and how has that kind of evolved over time? I mean, whatever whatever they want to call me, four or five. I yeah. mean, I'm a basketball player at the end of the day. I think I'm very skilled. Um, but over here, uh, my role is pretty much going to be, like I said earlier, just trying to make the job easier for the guys that we have on this team. Screening, rolling, um, sometimes catching the ball, playmaking, just going into DHOs, um, just just playing freely and um, creating for other guys. And hey, what works for you here? Because it does look like you're a pretty good fit on this team in terms of playing off guys and rebounding and even the defensive system you seem to be catching on pretty quickly too. Yeah, I mean, I take pride in everything I do. Um, just staying locked in, staying focused, listening to coaches and taking everything in, listening to players, um, taking, taking in different concepts and learning the system really well. Um, yeah, just going out there, Making the game easy, rebounding, um, DHO is just playing a simple game, not trying to do too much out there right now. And you said you're taking it day by day in terms of the competition to make the roster. Have you gotten any feedback? How are you feeling about ultimately landing here? I mean, I felt good from the beginning. Even when they first reached out, I knew what I could bring to the table. And I think they're starting to see that a little bit. So I hope I hope they feel the same way I feel. I feel like I could definitely help this team out a lot. And I hope, maybe, I hope when the time uh, it's a decision day. They make a decision and, and keep me around. All right, Noah Vonley, Boston Celtics, final preseason game on Friday. We'll see you there.